Well, hi guys. It's Monday. Cole and I are in the woods. We're at the park, my favorite trail, the one that leads to the Yates. And uh, I got here a little late today. Sun's starting to set because I stopped at the uh, storage unit and worked on the uh, trailer a little bit, cutting down on some of the weight on it. I cut some of the um, the wood out on the sides and I replaced it with replaced that uh, 5 8 inch stuff with uh, a quarter inch Luan you know real thin stuff still strong enough but not you know not really strong but when it's down it's still secure so yeah and I put a window in the front a big window you know, and I'm gonna put plexiglass in there. I got some real thick plexiglass to put in there, so that's a lot lighter, lighter weight than the wood. So that's gonna be good. Got that done, <clears throat> and uh, did a few other little things. I still gotta button things up and make things, you know, finish things up on the trailer. But uh, it's coming along. Um, I ran into a, a YouTube subscriber at the dollar store um, Sunday evening after I did my video. I went to the dollar store to uh, pick up some stuff. The guy was in there, hey, don't you do YouTube? I was like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, caught me off guard, guys. Caught me totally off guard. And I was kind of, you know, incognito. I mean, I was, it just surprised me, you know, because YouTube is real good for uh, not uh, having uh, people in your general area see your videos. Most of my subscribers are in other states and everything. So I was surprised to see somebody right in my same neighborhood pretty much, you know. But uh, I guess it happens, you know, looking for that sort of content. He said, yeah, I watch a lot of uh, truck bill uh, videos and everything. So if you're in that, that kind of stuff, then you're probably gonna run across me at some point, you know. And of course, it's my demographic. Uh, guys about my age, maybe a little older, maybe a little younger. It's hard to tell with people, you know, hard for me to tell. But uh, pretty close to my age, within five, 10 years, you know. Uh, Got the same thing going on. He like to, he doesn't build his truck out, but he's got a truck, everything. He, he's interested in watching the stuff. A lot of people watch I watch my videos. They have no intention of doing a build on their truck or doing a van life thing or whatever, or even camping. Period. You know, they just watch it just for entertainment purposes. You know, I'm sure this is pretty funny and entertaining to some people, but uh. Whatever it takes to get you to watch the videos, you know, if you're happy to watch them, then fine, I'll, I'll keep putting them up, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, he caught me in a, in a surprise. I was, I wasn't in a, a good mood. I was, I, I was nice to the guy, you know, but I could have been more forthcoming or whatever. You know, when you, I look back on it, whatever. I mean, after all, it was a subscriber. You know, he recognized me. You know, you know, I don't, I don't like to be rude to people or whatever. But uh, I'm really cautious. You know, people I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> when he said it, my my channel and everything, I was like, yeah, okay, it's cool. You know, I talked with him a little bit. I didn't get his name. Probably would have forgot anyway. But uh, seemed like a nice guy. If you're out there buddy and you're watching this video it was nice to meet you you know I just got done walking with Cole at the park I just had a really rough week with a bunch of assholes on the job so I wasn't feeling people at the moment so if I didn't seem too uh, friendly I apologize for that but uh just the way I am uh, I have my defenses up when I'm around people, but uh, it was nice meeting you, and uh, 
he did mention that he was going to go see the uh, solar eclipse, though. But he's going to go up north to see it, up near New York area. You know, um, I told him I was going down south to see it. So I don't know how the weather is going to be. He said the weather will be better down there. I'm like, oh, well, for his temperature wise, probably. But I don't know about the cloud cover or whatever. But uh, we'll see. Cole, you better not be chasing the deer. Cole, stop, stop. Yeah, he's chasing the deer. Here, Cole. Here. He's coming back. Yeah, it was a deer. This time of the night, this is when they're out. You ain't gonna catch that thing out here. You're not gonna catch him, Cole. And trust me, you don't wanna catch him. Those little buggers kick, and they kick hard. And their hoofs are sharp. They'll open you right up. You're not wanna mess with no damn deer. Yeah, deer, people think deers are harmless and uh, defenseless, but uh, you do not want to tangle with one. At least not barehanded, anyway. If you got a 45, you may have a chance, but uh, messing with one of those things, a wild deer, yeah, it's not going to be a pretty outcome. Hey, remember, he is a wild animal. What's that doing out here? Just heard a, a ambulance. We're gonna go this way this time. Come on, Cole. Let's go this way. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, he came back, which is good. The recall is getting a lot better. I tell him to come back. He knows I mean it. He'll come on back. Cause I was sure going for the shocker. I got it with me. He's got his collar on. I've got the uh, remote. I was gonna hit him, but uh, by the time I got it out and turned it on, he was on his way back. So he knows not to mess with me. I let him go off collar, off leash and whatever, but uh, he knows that uh, when I say come back, I mean it. So that's all that matters. That'll keep him out of trouble. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, we were talking about the solar eclipse, going to see it and everything. And uh, apparently he's gonna go and see it upstate New York, going up that way, uh, near Canada, that area. I think it's gonna be passing through that area too. So I hope he gets a good view. I hope I get a good view because uh, I'm gonna be uh, going all that distance to see it. My, uh, where I'm going to see it at, is gonna is like an eight hour drive for me. I'll probably do four hours the night, the day I get off. I get off at about 3.30. Um, if we work eight hours that day, I'll get off a little earlier. So 3.30, 4.35, 36, 30. By 7.30, I'll find a rest stop or something and stop for the night and sleep, you know, then start back early the next morning, another four-hour ride, and we'll be there. And um, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I did go to the solar eclipse in 2017. I was there. I saw totality. The sky opened up and cleared up. It was nice. I was able to see it. I didn't have cold then. I was by myself. I was in my car, my Cadillac. I rode it out to the to the place where I went to go see it at. I ended up uh, getting a tent set up and everything. And then the people were telling me, you're not gonna see totality here. You gotta go over to Carbondale to see that. I was like, oh my God. So I went, to, I went to scope out another area to see if I can get a better spot where I could be in totality. And uh, I found a spot, but, <laughs> excuse me, I had to cross the uh, 
Ohio River to get to it. In order to cross it, I had to get on a ferry. So, if you guys don't know what a ferry is, it's a big boat that you drive your car onto. And the whole thing, along with your car and other cars that you've that driven on there, it'll take you across the river to the other side. And it's got a ramp you drive off on the other side. Well, I had to take that to get to the camp spot. And um, found the camp spot and settled down and everything. I didn't have any camping gear because I left everything at the first camp spot. You know, so I, didn't, I just had bare bones stuff. Just a few things in the car. That was it. And uh, I met some people there. They were nice people. A uh, couple and a few other people. You know, I guess they thought I was some black guy that don't have any supplies or anything. I don't think they believed that I had a tent and everything all set up, everything. I had a whole, whole setup, guys. But I left it at another spot. And I couldn't get back to it because by the time I got to the other spot to where I could see totality, I couldn't get back across the river because the uh, ferry had stopped running. They only run for a certain you know, time. So I couldn't get back across. And I could have got back to the spot where I was at, but it would have took me another four hours to get there. So by then it would be dark and whatever. I'd be tired and trying to get back. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have to take tent down and stuff and bring it to another spot and reset up. So I was like, forget it. I'll just leave that stuff there. And I'll get it tomorrow after I see totality. So that's what I did. I stayed there. I slept in, in, the, in the back seat of my car. It was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done. How somebody could camp out in a car or live in a car, an actual sedan, even a four-door car. That's what it was, for the four-door Cadillac. It was roomy, but it was very uncomfortable. I'll never do that again in a car. And uh, so, but I did it. And uh, I got to see Totality. It was awesome. And uh, a few of the people that I saw there, you know, I made a few friends there, pretty cool people. I didn't get their number or anything, but we made a pact that if we're still alive, we're all going to show back up in 20, uh, 20, 2024 to see the uh, eclipse again, the same spot. Because it just so happens, uh, the spot where we were at is like a spot where you can see it in 2017 and you can see it in 2024. So, the same spot is like a crisscross, you know, the way it worked out. So, I'll be there. Now, if the sun cooperates, uh, well, the sun, if the weather cooperates and it's clear sky, we'll be able to see it, whatever. But I've got an ace up my sleeve. I do have a drone. So, my drone, depending on how high the cloud cover is, my drone is capable of climbing above the clouds and able to, I can be able to get a, a view of the eclipse through the, um, through the camera on the drone. So, I'm going to see that eclipse one way or another. So, all I got to do is be there. And uh, I'll get it done. But, uh, yeah, but I, I probably have to put a filter on it. I got to find out about uh, uh, MD filters for, uh, for the drone for uh, viewing uh, solar eclipse. I'm sure they've got some. I got to find out about it or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so I will be doing that. But anyway, um, I don't know how many of you guys are going to see the solar eclipse, but uh, there was a different kind of people there. Really nice people. Uh, my kind of people. Um, there's a different kind of people that would take time off work, take time out of their schedule to actually travel to another state to go see a total eclipse or whatever. Not many people pay that much attention to anything or even care about that I thought it was going to be packed I thought it was going to be a lot of people I thought it was going to be because you know, they hyped it up a lot over the you know, radio over television and everything so I'm like man it's going to be a lot of people I thought I was going to be on the side of the freeway or something trying to get to see it because everything would be you know booked up but it wasn't the case you know it wasn't that many people or whatever not where I was and it was at a, it was at a prime spot and whatever so but anyway um We'll see what happens this year. Um, the spot where I went to, I'm going to let you guys know where I was at. I was at a place called Cave and Rock. 
Illinois can even rock it like a, a um, spot where the pirates used to stash their loot and stuff in a cave on the side of the Ohio River and whatever. Really nice, interesting cave, scenic, really nice little area there. And um, that's where I was at. I got to see the cave and walked inside and everything and looked at it and everything. It was pretty awesome. You know, people were there with their families and everything. And uh, like I said, it was a different kind of atmosphere, different kind of people were there. You know, <clears throat> my kind of people, you know, the kind of people that are into nature and just seeing things, you know, and people that can appreciate the beauty of nature and things like that, you know. Not people that, you know, I'm pretty sure they drink. And probably some of them smoke weed, whatever. But uh, they're able to enjoy, you know, nature to, you know, a certain extent, whatever. And a few people I was with and whatever, um, like I said, I was short on supplies. So they helped me out. You know, we had a fire and we roasted uh, uh, marshmallows and sat there and ate some food and everything. And uh, we just had a good time, you know. You know, they embraced me. The people were nice. Everything, it was it was a good time. So, yeah. Here comes Cole. He's coming back. So, I'm going to be going again this year. Hopefully, those same people will be there. You know, I told him, I said, I'll be much better prepared next time. You know, the one couple there, they had a, a, a truck camper. Um, the kind that slides into the bed of the truck. I was like, that is really nice. I was really impressed by that because I'd never seen one before, you know. And um, they gave me a little tour and it was nice, you know. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, I don't have a truck camper, but I got a, my truck cap, you know, and my camper inside that. And I'm gonna, if I can get enough weight off that trailer to be comfortable with towing it down there, I'm gonna take my trailer with me and uh, I have my truck camper and the trailer so I have plenty of room for me and Cole to stretch out and whatever and um, we'll be able to hang out with those people again hopefully they'll make it back again you know if they're still alive you know what was that like seven years ago that's a long time you know and the people that I saw that were there were older people they weren't like in their 20s and whatever or maybe even 30s these people are in their 40s and 50s, you know. Um, so, you know, you need to be that age, you know. Nothing is promised to you or whatever, you know. And that's why they're out there enjoying life. When you, people get to be that age, they realize the beauty of things and they realize nature and, uh, they have appreciation for life because they know they don't have much more of it left. <laughs> so they really uh, appreciate it. So anyway, let me know, guys, if uh, if you plan on traveling to see the eclipse or if the eclipse is going to be coming near where you live uh, or if you're going to try to go to Cave and Rock where I'll be. Maybe I'll see you. You know, I prom promise I won't be standoffish or whatever. I'll be in a in a good mood because I'll be off work. I'll be enjoying myself. I'll be in a much better uh, situation and more 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 people friendly and whatever. Simply because the kind of people that are there, you know, <clears throat> people I work with on my job. They could care less about 